Hello and welcome to SUSC TV's match day live commentary of Sutton United versus Dagenham Redbridge here at the Knights Community Stadium on an evening where finally the rain has cleared up. It's been a pretty miserable day. It's a, it's a nice evening now with a, with a nice little breeze to go with it. So, first of all, we're going to talk through a lineup, starting with Sutton's, of course. It's Jamie Butler, John Barden, Ben Goodliffe, Jamie Collins, Tom Bollerimwa, Harry Beautyman, Craig Eastman, David Ajiboy. Tommy Wright, Rob Milton, Aaron Jarvis. The only change is Eastman coming in for Randall. With Saturday's thumping 4 0 win over Chesterfield. Uh, Dagenham Redbridge's bench, uh, sorry, start lineup is Elliot Justin, Will Wright, uh, Manny Honorias, Luke Kroll, Skipper Kenny Clark, Alex McQueen, Angela Balanta, Baggerson Graham, Matthew Robertson, Reese Grant, of course, familiar face who was here. Last season at Sutton, James Dobson in the number 20 shirt for Dagenham. Sutton's bench is Kenny Davis, Craig Dundas, Will Randall, Daniel, uh, Daniel Matsuzaka, and Carl Reed is a, a new signing. So, uh, yeah, Matt Gray's integrating him into the squad. And Dagenham's bench is Liam Gordon, uh, Josh Strizovic, Joe Quigley, uh, Juan Uke, and Harold uh, Odometti. So join us at SGS TV's match live commentary of Sutton United versus Dagenham Redbridge. Uh, Arben Noor, who's uh, been the main commentator for the majority of the season, he's run late at the moment, so uh, I'll be starting you off with the commentary. And uh, yeah, you'll know when Arben's here, that's for sure. A very bubbly character. Ball's out here on the left hand side to Bagson Graham. Cuts it back to Kroll. Last touch there from Matthew Robertson. Gets it taken off him from Tommy Wright. Into David Ajiboy. Sutton want to get on the front foot quickly. Ajiboy steaming down the right hand side. Had to halt his run a bit. So going to get corner. Gets a low cross into the box. Come back for Tommy Wright. And Sutton could have scored inside the first 44 seconds. Took a little deflection on the way through. Great run from Ajiboy on the right hand side. Great link up with Tommy Wright. So I feel a bit bad about that. But nevertheless, it was a lovely ball forward then. Bonnarumma gets it, sending it in the air after Justin's clearance. Dagenham Bridge really are showing some intent, having bodies around the Sutton, in the Sutton half, trying to force a mistake. Unfortunately, Robertson didn't keep possession well there, and Barnett intercepted. Buseman now for Sutton. And then Eastman. Ben Goodliffe is going to try that trick again. Long ball down the right-hand side. Will it, does it work as well as it did on Saturday? As Boy gets it in the right way. Look for Jarvis for an excellent cross. The ball's been stuffed in the area. Jarvis is possession, coming towards Buteman, it's been shot wide of the far post. Fancy Boy tried to stretch for it, but unfortunately just puts it on him a goal kick. Lovely football on the side. Carl Reed back at the club, what's your opinions on him? Yeah, good experienced player, Matt Gray said he was offered him in, in, in the summer. Uh, felt it wasn't right to take him on then, but obviously now we need a winger, it's good to take, it's good to take him on now. Good shot off, off the... Uh... Outside the penalty area there by Balanta, it was deflected, so that's gone up for a corner to Dagenham Redbridge. A free kick, corner kick, sorry, to Dagenham, towards the back post, looking for Wright, headed away by uh, Rap Jarvis, set back into the penalty area by Graham, falls it, falls it to Grant, can't get the shot away, on a series, tries to fire it back in, and then Rob Wilson does well to get a block in for another corner to Dagenham Redbridge. Throwing taken. And charging forward there was Rice, but it's not made any more progress. Honorary Arsenal plays it back forward again. Eventually, Sutton try and bring the bodies forward as Butemus gets them away again. Honorary Arsenal rolls it back towards Justin calmly, and Dagger Redbridge have possession inside their own half. The pressure coming though from United. Eastman being dragged there by McQueen, and it's a free kick to Sutton. The ironic cheers after the other referees finally given a, a foul to Sutton. Come inside the area and then through on the outside. Nelson will take it. Looking for Jarvis. Headed on by Eastman and just couldn't get into the teammate. And Eastman with the first time volley. Lovely volley indeed. Left footed. It was aimed for the far post. And it was almost Zidane S into the opposite corner. Unfortunately, that's got strapped by Rocket. Lovely attempt. But eventually well dealt with by Harry Beautyman, who looks for Jarvis again. Chest down by Jarvis. But he's gotten away from him. He was asking for a foul there was Jarvis, but Ajiboy wins it again. But an excellent tackle there by Matthew Robinson, who plays out wide now to Graham. 
Graham charging forward for Dagger Redbridge. He's skinned Bolarinwa and chasing his way towards the penalty area. Bolarinwa fouls Bagasan Graham and that's a free kick to Dagger Redbridge. Every Sutton player is inside the penalty area. Free kick comes into the wall, swipe post, headed away by Butler, but it's hit the back of the net for Dagenham by Reese Grant. And, it, and the Daggers are in the lead with three minutes to go until half time. It was a very unfortunate save from Butler. He did very well to get hands on it initially, but it falls for Reese Grant, who did not hesitate with the follow up and puts it in the net for Dagenham's first goal. It's 1 0 to Dagenham Redbridge. And I had a feeling when Bolly gave away that free kick that it was a danger position and it's paid off for them and Dagenham at lead here at Knights Community Stadium. So it's United nil, Dagenham and Redbridge won. 43, 44 minutes gone. Crucial goal. The first goal would define the game. Lovely ball forward by Buterman. Looks for Tommy Wright. Tommy Wright just gets to the here, but Honoré Arsene did very well to get, force it away from Sutton's number 20 for a United throw in. Bonneville with the throw. Inside towards Aaron Jarvis, who tried to play into the penalty area, and eventually it's cleared once more by McQueen, the creator for the opening goal. Just a minute of added time at the end of the first half. Collins looking for Jarvis once more, headed it, heads it across as Jarvis, but no one there to receive the second ball. And once again, cleared away by Dagenham, but Collins' header goes straight to Angela Balanta, out wide towards, towards James Dobson now. Dobson trying to cut his side, skins two Sutton players. Dobson here, great chance, lovely goal by the ex Sutton player James Dobson. It's a terrific finish, a heart, a stagger to the hearts for Sutton, who've now gone 2 0 down here to Duggan and Redbridge through a lovely, lovely goal by James Dobson. Skinny two on the left hand side, who dragged Charles into the penalty area, picked, it, picked up the far post, and found the corner. Excellent goal, 2 0 to, to Duggan and Redbridge. And, and then they put the long ball up, Collins headed it to where he could, didn't really have any Sutton options near him. And what a killer blow, two goals conceded right before half time. I, I really wonder how we're going to mentally come into this second half. That, 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 this could be a humongous blow and, and we've got to start quickly in that second half because yeah, as the, fight, the half time has gone now, it's not looking good for Sutton. All sorted in now and we're about to begin the second half. Can Sutton overcome the odds once again? and? Salvage something from this 2 0 deficit they have against Dagenham here. And we get one underway once again with Bonnerman instantly gaining possession. Here's Barden now to Eastman, sending it forward. Kroll heading it away at the first opportunity. So, Beautiful with the corner once more. Towards the back post, looking for good lift, headed away. Lawson put heads it back in there towards Eastman. It's a couple of deflections once more, but it did come off a certain player last and that's after a goal kick. Jamie Collins. Now Bonnerilwa, they're going to have another change ready, which is okay, but he's not coming on yet. It's starting to have possession inside the Dagenham half. Eastman. Now Milsom. Plays out wide to Will Randall. Randall taking on Will Wright, and right, he skins right. Can he get the ball into the penalty area? Right, taps it out for a corner to Sutton. Now, bodies all over the penalty area. Who will it be? Into the Here it goes, cleared by Will Randall. There was a foul on Justin, but another corner. This time Milsom towards the near post, headed away, only as far as Bonnerilwa with the shots. Lovely strike just over the bar. That's a good sign. Here it goes, up the field. Looking for Collins, knocking down by Collins to Jarvis. Jarvis is being harried there. Collins, Jarvis, almost fell for Almost fell for good lift, but it's gone, it's gone away again. Here comes Quigley. He's got options in front of him. Lovely running there from Bonnerin, but Quigley's got away from him once more. Alex McQueen is in the penalty area, looking for a teammate of the Handball appeals from Dagenham, and there's yet again no penalty. And here comes Sutton once more. They've got to be quick here because the urgency, there hasn't been any urgency. They've got to hurry up the game. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still 2 0, but it's eight minutes, seven minutes to go. Will Randall. For Sutton, he's got, he's got options in alongside him with nothing in front. Barton looking to send it at long for Ajiboye. Uh, he's not going to reach him and it's going to go out for another th goal. Another throw, I should say. Sutton still struggling with a minute to go and stoppage time coming. Nelson wide right. Diagonal ball to Jarvis. It's a good lift, sorry. Handball appeals there. Dundas, good lift. Great good lift shot. Blocked. 
I don't know what referees, what it's going to take for referees to give a penalty tonight. But the ball's come forward again for Dagenham. And here's Joe Quigley. Quigley taking on Collins. He's got bodies coming back. Still Joe Quigley. Can he wrap his up for Dagenham? He's stuck in the penalty area and he's successfully won a corner for the Daggers to eat up more time. Referees asking them to hurry up as they are trying to take a little bit more out of it. And there goes the final whistle here at Ganja Green Lane. Sutton United nil, Dagenham and Redbridge two.